Exercise 1.2. Find the number of terms in each of the following APs. Now here the question is 7, 13, 19 up to 205. These numbers they are in AP. This is the first term of an AP and this is the second term of an AP and this is the third term of an AP and this is the last term of an AP. First let me explain the question. Imagine there are so many members, okay? Imagine the first person is holding the number 7 and the second person is holding the number 13 and the third person he is holding the number 19 and the last person holding the number 205. Now see here, the person holding the number 7 he is in the first place and the person holding the number 13 he is in the second place. Okay? And the person holding 19, he is in the third place. Then, now we have to find out the place of the person who is holding 205. See here. A N. We know A1 that is 7. A2 that is 13. And A3 is 19. Here we don't know the number of term of 205. That is an is equal to 205. Then apply the formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. an is 205. a is what? 7. a1 it is nothing but a. 7 plus n we have to find out. Then 1. What is the difference? D is equal to A2 minus A1. A2 is what? 13. 13 minus 7 is what? 6. D is equal to 6. Now look at this. 205 is equal to 7 plus n minus 1 into 6. That is 6 into n is what? 6 n. Minus 6 into 1 is 6. 205 is equal to 7 plus 6 n. Plus into minus is minus 6. 205 is equal to 7 plus 7 minus 6 is what? 1. 1 plus 6 n. Let me rub that. 1 plus 6n is equal to 205. 1 plus 6n is equal to 205. Then 6n is equal to 205 minus 1. 6n is equal to 205 minus 1 is 204. n is equal to 204 divided by 6. 2 3 is 6. 2 1s are 2, 0, 2 2s are 4. Then n is equal to 102 divided by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12. That is n is equal to 34. Second question 18, 15, 1 by 2, 13 up to minus 47. And here we have to find out the number of terms. That is n is equal to what? Okay, what is given? A1, A2, A3. Isn't it? A1 is equal to 18. A1 it is nothing but what? A. Right? Then A2 is what? 15, 1 by 2. A2 is 15, 1 by 2. And A3 is 13. A3 is 13. And AN it is what? Minus 47. We don't know the number of term of minus 47. See, D is equal to A2 minus A1. Right? A2 is what? 15, 1 by 2. Okay? Now, see, 15, 1 by 2, it is nothing but 31 by 2. 15, 2 is 30. 
30 plus 1 is what? 31. 31 by 2. Okay. A2 is equal to 31 by 2. Therefore, D is equal to 31 by 2 minus A1. A1 is what? 18. Nothing in the denominator means we will consider it as 1. Now take the LCM of 2 and 1. D is equal to 2 is the LCM. Then 31 minus to equalize the denominator we have to multiply it by 2. That is 1 into 2, 18 into 2. 1 into 2 is 2, 18 into 2 is 36. D is equal to plus 31 minus 36. That is what? Minus 5. Minus 5 by 2. D is equal to minus 5 by 2. Now we know the value of D. That is D is equal to minus 5 by 2. Okay. Then let me rub this one. Now the formula is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. An is what? Minus 47. Minus 47 is equal to a. a is what? 18. Plus n we have to find out. Minus 1. D is minus 5 by 2. When it is minus symbol, be careful. Take it in the bracket. Minus 5 by 2. Okay. Now, minus 47 is equal to 18 for this plus, right? Plus. Now, see here. N into minus 5 by 2. It is what? Minus 5 by 2 into N. Right? N into minus 5 by 2 it is minus 5 by 2 N. Minus into minus is what? Plus. Plus 5 by 2. Now, minus 47 is equal to 18. 18 plus into minus is minus 5 by 2 N. Plus into plus is plus 5 by 2. Okay. Now minus 47 is equal to. Minus 47 is equal to. Now 18 plus 5 by 2. Look at this. 18 plus 5 by 2. Minus 5 by 2 n. Minus 5 by 2 n. Now, add these two terms, okay? That is 18 plus 5 by 2. See here, nothing in the denominator means we will consider it as 1. Now, take the LCM of 1 and 2. 2 is the LCM. That is minus 47 is equal to 2. Now, to equalize the denominator, we will multiply it by 2. Right? That is 1, 2 is 2. 18 to the 36. 36 plus 5. Minus 5 by 2. N. Minus 47 is equal to. 36 plus 5 is what? 41. 41 by 2. Minus 5 by 2. N. Okay. Now let me rub this one. Minus 47 is equal to 41 by 2 minus 5 by 2 n. Our intention is to find n, right? Then which is the remaining extra term? That is 41 by 2 is the extra term. It is in addition. When it will cross the is equal to sign, it will become subtraction. That is minus 47 minus 41 by 2. Okay. Is equal to minus 5 by 2 n. See here nothing in the denominator means we will consider it as 1. Now take the LCM of 1 and 2. 2 is the LCM. Then 
minus 47 into 2. To equalize the denominator, we will multiply it by 2. That is minus 47 into 2. Minus 47 into 2. Minus 41 is equal to minus 5 by 2 L. Minus 47 into 2 is minus 94. Minus 41 divided by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 2 L. Let me write that. Minus 94 minus 41 is minus 135. Right? Divided by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 2 L. Minus 5 by 2 L. Now look at this. See here. 2, 2. Here it is in the denominator. Isn't it? If it is like this, we can cancel. Okay? That is 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. Then, see here. Both the numerator, it will get cancelled by 5. We can cancel minus minus. 5, 1, sir. 5, 2, sir, 10. 5, 7, sir. 35. That is 27 is equal to L. And the meaning of the question is minus 47, it will come in the 27th place. Okay? It is in the first place. It is in the second place. It is in the third place. Like that. Minus 47 is in the 27th place of an 8.